again in relation to what happened in theaters eight and nine there at the Century 16 movie theater, but you can you can get a, a, a visual sense now of the chaos that was happening inside that theater moments after this lone gunman opened fire shortly after 12.30. Suspect James Holmes allegedly telling police, I am the Joker. He dyed his hair, possibly to look like the character in this scene. He also allegedly rigged his apartment with elaborate booby traps, a favorite weapon of the Joker, who gleefully executes elaborate, lethal crimes and was once described by the actor Heath Ledger as a murdering, schizophrenic clown with zero empathy. Columbine shooters reenacted scenes from the Matrix. We, the gods, will have so much fun. Killing enemies, blowing up stuff, killing cops. My wrath for January's incident will be godlike. According to Lisa Wade, a professor of sociology, the percentage of top grossing films that depict killing has increased from 40% in the 1940s to 90% in the year 2000. We're living in a time now, thanks to the events of last week in Colorado, where public attention is all focused on any kind of violence in film, mm -hmm. and you have a violent film in that. What's your take on that? Do you feel that the movie industry that you're part of plays any role in this, in making people, um, sparking them to violent action? Um, sure. Any, I think all media forms do, to an extent. So the question could be, does art imitate life, or does life imitate art? Here's an opposing view. Uh, to be honest, I would have to disagree with, I would have to say uh, violent films do not create uh, violent behavior. I believe it all comes from uh, structures through the family, through the households. Um, watching violent films, as I grew up, I didn't become violent when I was a child. I didn't break toys or uh, start fires seeing films. Yes, I do. Uh, for example, a lot of these movies do have a lot of gore and uh, like nudity, brief nudity in these movies, and uh, ch uh, children shouldn't be allowed to be watching that. I would say maybe uh, the what do they have right now is that uh, that parental guidance, which is uh, that under seventeen you can't watch those films. I still believe that that should still be in place. However, it's gonna slip through. I mean, once those movies come out on DVDs. Mom and dad are somewhere doing something, and the child watches it. They're they're gonna do it, but they're gonna see it. But I mean, to be honest, I still think that should be in place as far as uh, the movie theaters.